Challenges of additional walls. This means strengthening the multilateral system. Thank you, thank you. In an era of deep fakes and disinformation, and reinforcing the multi stakeholder foundations of internet governance, governments in society. This forum represents a vital opportunity to consider the proposals of an ambitious global digital compact and prepare for the summit of the future in September. Bureau of Cyber Space and Digital Policy, Mr. Pierce O'Donoghue, this confederation, and Ms. Doreen Bogdan Martin, Secretary General of the International Telecommunication Union, bringing the private sector and civil society to the table and making their voices heard in this process was truly forward thinking back in the early 2000s. It has allowed us to accomplish a great deal from promoting digital inclusion to supporting capacity building initiatives. This multi-stakeholder approach to digital cooperation works and we need to protect it because it's more fundamental now than ever before. We can rely on and we can draw from existing well-functioning and multi-stakeholder UN mandated processes for digital governance. The WISIS action lines have withstood the test of time by providing the Thank you so much, Excellency. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment where we confirm our chair for WISIS. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's with a great honor and gratitude that I stand before you today as the newly appointed chair of the WISIS Plus 20 Forum High Level Event. For this uh, really excellent, I would say, question, which is hidden to you need us. Jeff is the biggest global multi stakeholder dialogue platform to discuss new and emerging as well as existing issues, to join our efforts to develop this species plus, which will be even more inclusive and accountable and should make sure that all voices of all people are heard. Which is why in Nigeria again one of the biggest tasks I've been given is to actually build a data exchange system connecting every part of government. An example of the work of this UN system collaborative platform in the recently developed UN system white paper on the AI governance. An important reference point on the UN normative instruments, institutional functions, and governance frameworks relevant to the AI. Our partners. And indeed, you see how we now in this town. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, ready, cut on three, three, two, one. I'm keeping this one. <laughs> okay, I'll keep this one. Okay, I'll keep that part. <laughs> project that many of my colleagues have been talking about, where you have, I think, some 50 digital transformation initiatives. Yes.